Hey guys, Shudders here, welcome back to another Gears of War Ultimate Edition Gameplay Road to Level 100 episode. Looks like we're playing some War Machine. I think we've played this map quite a bit in this series, but like, it's one of my favourite maps, of course. I enjoy it. I hope you guys enjoy it as well. Just a great map layout, great power weapons, and just it just makes for a decent map on any game mode, really, you know? But it looks like we've got a guy pushing already, man. Like, get back. Pistol power. <laughs> I don't even know what this guy is trying to do, but... Looks like he's going to give me the torque bow, and I've realised why I couldn't weapon slide on my normal account, because... Okay, that grenade that grenade went off extremely quickly, but I have the Xbox Accessories app set to the, like, tournament control scheme, so I can use it on Gears of War 3, I can use it on any Gears game. One shot down! Whoa! It says Moses! Coming into the game, one shot me down right there, that's annoying. We lost the torque bow as well, hopefully we can... I think I dropped it. Let's see if we can get it back, but I figured out that I, you can't actually use the Xbox Accessories app and Weapon Slide, it just doesn't work. It's like backwards compatibility, you know, it doesn't work perfectly. So, like on this account, I play with Tournament Control with Scheme on. There you go, getting a double kill in. I don't usually play as Big Rig Dizzy, but he's not a bad character to play as, you know. Good fun, good fun character. A lot of people used to hate him in Gears of War 3, but times have changed, you know. Times have changed. The hitboxes are all the same. I'm missing these torpedoes too easily, man. Alright. I think it's time to move on to the next ring already. So this guy's trying to chainsaw me for. It's not going to work, I'm afraid. Alright, we've got a guy coming over here for nades. No, that's a great play. Oh, even greater play by me though. Let's go, boys. All right, let's check. Okay, talk about ammo is up as well. So as you can see, I figured it out. So I'm so glad that I've got the the weapon sliding skill back because it's so useful in this game. So useful. There you go, taking them out with the talk bow. Let's go. There's actually split screeners on the other team. I think this is the split screening guy. Okay, okay, I'm, it's a normal guy, really? <laughs> oh no. One of them, boys, one of them. Here you go, take out the canis, bye bye. Jam my gun, not good. I think he's even gonna push me, though. Smokes are so useful in this game, like, it's so useful. Oh, what a miss, no way. No, don't try it, man. These guys are getting too close to me. Oh, run away. Run away, run away, run away. Okay, there's a guy here. He, I think he doesn't know I'm here. Oh, he's... One. Two. Let's go. Can't believe I got out of that situation right there. Nicely done. I swear the whole team was up here, was there not? Okay, the sniper guy's still here. Let's quickly get the cap for the points. Oh, no. Easy kill right there. I, th I think this kid watches my videos, actually. I can't remember. I know... Okay, he's left. He's left. He's gone. But I know there's a few ESS guys. Like, one guy I always will remember who watches every video. Shout out to ESS Hunters. I know he'll be watching, but... Like, I can't keep up with all the different clan names. Of all the different people. Ego, take him out. I swear this guy picked up the Torbo somewhere. That's shotgun ammo. Okay, a teammate's got it. I actually need some shotgun ammo. I'm so glad. Like, like you guys don't understand. I'm so glad that I figured out why I couldn't weapon slide. Because I was thinking, there's no way. Oh, no. Damn it, dude. I didn't know there was a canister there as well. That sniper guy was pretty much nearly dead. But, like, I just... I couldn't figure it out why I was so, like... I perfected weapon sliding with the tournament control scheme. I even did like a my own very own, my, my very own tutorial video on it, and then randomly it just stopped working. Like I just couldn't figure it out. Like I'm so glad that I can do it because it comes in handy so much in Gears of War Ultimate Edition multiplayer. Because picking up a weapon on the move compared to picking up a weapon staying stationary, standing still, obviously moving is always going to have the advantage. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. One shot down, man. That's terrible. 
Shotgun over here shooting out bricks. One shot down, man. I feel bad. <laughs> Ego, take him out of the back, A. Eh? Oh, yes, the weapon slide is back, boys. Let's go. Oh, I love it, man. I'd love to see it in Gears of War 4. I'm not too sure if it will be, but it would be pretty cool to see it in another Gears of War game because obviously it's always been in Gears of War 1, you know. It was in Gears of War 2, and it was pretty cool in Gears of War 2 because the only way you could do it was you had to do it, like, opposite way to Gears 1. So on this game in Gears of War 1, to weapon slide, you have to press XA, or for me it's XLB, but on Gears of War 2, you had to press AX, so it was like the opposite. So it's pretty cool, but obviously that got patched straight away. But it never got patched in this game, you know, but it makes sense. Ah, oh, these people are rage quitting. Please don't leave, guy. What's your name? Mooknooms. Please don't leave. Come on, game. Please prepare other people in the match. This has been going so well. Oh, and we got a low battery, man. Ah, what are we going to do, boys? All right, I think we're going to jump into another one, and I'm going to switch to the webcam because my camera is about to uh, actually run out. So that was a good game so far until everybody rage quit. What can you do? And as you look, we're level 60. Beast. Right, we're going to be jumping into another game. I'm actually going to switch to my webcam because this battery is about to die. So I shall see you on the other side. Game number two. So here we are jumping into game number two. We're going to be playing some Clock Tower, recording, continuing... All that good stuff. Still playing as Big Rig Dizzy. I enjoyed that War Machine game playing as his character. Let's go, boys. Time for revenge. Even though they're not the same people that, unfortunately, rage quit. I hit everybody on their on the on the Locust team right now. Here you go. Finally got a kill. Finally got two kills. Okay. Nice. Like one of the best tactics for King and Hill on Clock Tower. At the beginning, just to share with you guys, because why not? Extra info is always a good thing. Or tips. Tips is the word I want to use. This first ring, if you jump, if you have somebody like jump over the cover right here and sit on this wall, unless you're getting sniped, obviously, you can have them basically just popping in and out with their shotgun, just covering the circle. And you can cover from both sides, you know. If somebody's coming from that side or if they're sitting over here, you can cross them out. And then if you've got somebody working with you, capping the ring at the same time, it just makes things so much easier if you... Uh, unless that happens. Unless that happens. But it just makes like life and winning the game at the beginning of the round so much easier for you on Clock Tower. You know, I just thought I'd throw out there, share it with you because I've played and no life to King of the Hills so much in Gears of War. Like, as a franchise, but especially this game, you know. Like, King of the Hills is definitely the best game mode to play at the moment. Like, even for XP, you get a good amount of XP. It might not be the quickest because games are really long, but when you finish a match, you do get a ton of XP, you know, and it feels worth it. It feels worth it. I'm being that Gears of War guy that people hate swear who just crosses the across the map with a pistol, man. You gotta do it, dude. The pistol is OP. OP is anything, man. Okay, I don't think they know I'm here. Let's shoot this guy in the head with the Lancer, take the multiplier. Oh no, he must have been weak. No way, was that a one shot down? It felt like he was like already damaged, you know? Oh dude. Oh, we got melee down by the cannons. No. I swear he's taking me out twice now. Oh no, it's all good. We got, we got three of them. And got the cheeky beat down by the cheeky savage cannons, man. <laughs> Here he is. Revenge. Oh. Try to get the headshot on him. There you go. I've downed him. Oh, no. Okay. I don't mind. Swag shots. You can take it. As long as he dies. As he gets the triple kill in with the boom shot right there. Let's grab the, the, the cap for the extra points. Always. Okay. I think they're spawning top side. There we go. What? Okay, that should have been a kill, not gonna lie. Okay, he's down. I thought that was gonna be a kill, you know? Didn't get it though, didn't get it. Right, they're not spawning a boom shot, man. Like, usually what happens in this ring, they spawn at boom or they spawn at top. And every time I play, when I look at top, they spawn at bottom, but when I look at bottom, they spawn at top. Confusing, confusing indeed. This guy better not kill me. 
All right, I got one revenge kill on him. It will do. There you go, nine points. Any points, I'll take it. All right. There you go. It's got, oh, that's, that template guy is a bit fresh, not gonna lie. Surprised I got that kill, man. Wow. Well, right, we ain't pushing up top, dude. Oh, I've downed him, I've downed him. Oh, it's smoke grenades, man. Too good. I need to actually retreat right here. Yeah, this video might actually end up being quite long, you know. It's like playing... Well, it's like playing three rounds of King of the Hill. Like, the longest match I've played of King of the Hill, three rounds, is uh, the 130 kill gameplay video, which was like 45 minutes, so... I don't think it's going to be three rounds in this game. Looks like an easy win for us. 100, 100 points ahead, you know. Nice. Take him out. Do you want, let's see if he wants a Lance or 1v1. If you shoot him in the head, you get, like, multiplier, if you didn't know. Like, I should have covered this in tutorial videos, but this game, this game has already been out for, like, four months. Which is crazy. Like, for Gears 4, I'm definitely considering, like, the first week or two. Like, just absolutely going in, sharing knowledge. Oh, dude, come on. What? You've only got 12 kills, man. This game's going too quickly, dude. That Savage Canis is giving me the right old cheeky one, isn't he? Giving me the melee. But yeah, Gears 4, like the f week, first week or two, I really want to like concentrate on... Oh, that was a save right there. Don't two-piece, people. That Savage Canis keeps on trying it, man. Right, let's get on the kill grind, shall we? No way. That's gonna, that guy's going to be full red. Oh, I'm going to be full red. Move to... No, Dizzy, Dizzy, Dizzy. Yes. Ah, oh. We're getting a few stupid deaths right. I didn't realise we were playing two, like, clan members. Teamwork of the essence. Or teamwork of the ops clan. This guy's full red. Look, he keeps trying it. Oh, stop doing that, man. No. Oh, dude. People used to do that so much. Like, I used to do it as well on Gears of War 3. He's bringing the Gears 3 tactic to this game, man. <laughs> Got it. Come on, dude. Like, nothing I can be mad about, you know. Absolutely outplayed me. I'll take advantage of that newbie roll, though. But that is, that, that's how you out outplay someone, man. I got wrecked. Okay, the melee don't even work, man. What's going on? All right, we've got a few more kills to go before this round is over. Oh, dude. Let's quickly grab the, grab the crap. Wrong way round. Grab the cap. Yo. That, that, that drone seems to not want to die to my bullets, man. Ah, uh, that was unlucky right there. Like, this is probably we can we can do better. Come on, we can we can try and prove upon ourselves. You know, this is why I like the Road to Level 100 series. I say it all the time because it doesn't like I'm not just putting out the best gameplays that I always get from like playing like 10, 20 matches. You know, I put out every single game or pretty much every game which is a full match. Like there are a few matches which I haven't uploaded where I've literally joined in session on the second round and 50 points in we've won the match. You know, like that's pretty pointless to upload. Nice. Oh, uh, that was weird. There you go. Take him out. Bye bye. Was that a, was that a Superman or? Oh man, I don't know what it is. It's Canada's look. He's he's he. Ah, uh. <laughs> curb stomping man. I wish they, were, they should have included like a curse some achievement because it's pretty much pointless unless you just want to mess with someone. 
You know, give him the cheeky curb stomp here and there like that guy's doing to me. Alright, we need to we need to step up a game, man. We're getting a few too many deaths. I don't like it. We've only got 20 kills. Let's try. Nice. See, I don't want to push right now. I'm not I'm not 100 percent There you go. Another kill bites the dust. They want the Lancer power, I'll give him to it. I might as well grab the cap though, all about that team life. Someone's rage caught on their team, really? Nice. Is this sniper up? Oh, this guy's gonna grab it, isn't he? There you go. Every time I want a power weapon, somebody's there to take it from me. <laughs> it's like, no, I wanted it. It's gone. Finished. Right, there's a guy somewhere at Boom, but is he just like not pushing whatsoever? Okay, here he is. Come on, Locust team, break the ring, man. We're getting the points in and you guys aren't breaking it. I swear there was a guy waiting at boom shot. Is he dead? Oh, he's done it again. Swag shots, man. Twice in the same game. Triple kill at this ring with a boom shot. Oh, no. Oh, man. I don't want to roll. Take it. Thank you. Like I said, we need to try. Let's see, let's see if we can get to 40 kills, you know. Try and redeem ourselves a little bit for the few mistakes and errors that we've made this game, you know. See, like, I still make stupid mistakes, which I can improve upon, you know. Like when you miss certain bullets or certain shots. Nice. I swear, Locust Guy went this way. Like, why? He's going for the ultimate flank. There he is, look, he's over here. Ultimate flank style, uh, flanking time. Oh, uh, he's just been bodied. Good to go. Sniper's gonna take you out. Oh no, I downed him twice in a row. Here you go. Might as well get the cap while we're here. Uh, boom shots up again. They probably spawned the top side. There you go. Oh, that was terrible, man. All right, easy headshot. I'll take it. Let's see if we can get the savage can. Let's get a, get some revenge on him. Uh, the angle's too much. All right, next ring, boys. Let's go. Nearly winning it, man. Come on, Locust team. Pick it up. See, look what this Canis is doing, dude. Like, not playing the team game, you know. Oh, get absolutely. Oh, we can't, we can't. I feel like that's a good revenge kill right there with the pistol. 30 kills, not bad. Did make a few deaths this game, but we had a good start on War Machine. Hope you guys have enjoyed another episode of my Road to Level 100 series. Going up to 61, wow, two games in a row leveling up. Obviously, we still got that double XP for Gears Miss 2015 continuing into the first, I think, five days of January. Personally, recording this right now on the 2nd of January, just before I head back to work in 45 minutes. Yay! <laughs> but there you go, we hit level 61, getting levels up game by game. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you aren't already. Thanks for watching, and as always, I shall see you on the next one. <laughs>